you to say the Chiefs suck, and I want you to say it like you mean it, but Chief Urag won't say it, so I'm going to drive him insane until he fucking says it. Be fucking happy. That's all I gotta say. I, Henry the Eighth, I am. Henry the Eighth, I am. I am. I, Henry the Eighth, I am. Henry the Eighth, I am. I am. Oh, what the fuck? Ninety-nine bottles of beer on the wall. Ninety-nine bottles of beer. You take one down, pass it around. Ninety-eight bottles of beer on the wall. Fuck! All ninety-eight bottles of beer on the wall. Ninety-eight bottles of beer. You take one down, pass it around. Ninety-seven bottles of beer on the wall. Fuck! Beer on the wall. Ninety-seven bottles of beer on the wall. Ninety-seven bottles of beer. You take one down, pass it around. Ninety-six bottles of beer on the wall. Ninety-six bottles of beer on the wall. Ninety-six bottles of beer. You take one down, pass it around. Ninety-five bottles of beer on the wall. Song? Oh, come on, Chief Rack. Don't get all uh, like that. Don't get all screamy like that. I'm stuck in your head, remember? I'm your conscious. I'm the only thing that's standing between you and death. Or what brain cells you have left floating in here, by the way. I am basically the brain stem of your skull. So with that being said, let's go ahead and sing another song, because I'm not done yet. Uh, 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 until you say the Chiefs suck. Come on, Chief Rag. I will not stop until you say the Chiefs suck. In fact, I got another song to play. Let's go ahead and get it started. <laughs> southern born, Southern bred. When I die, I'll be Southern dead. The Chiefs fucking suck! For a rag, this would all be avoided if you just talked to me. Let's just have a conversation. Why are you always ignoring me? What's going on? Their offensive line is fucking atrocious. They should be fucking embarrassed. They are such a fucking joke. It is unbelievable how fucking bad the Chiefs offensive line is. It Well, I mean, Chief Arag, I could have told you the offensive line was bad. How bad are they? It's 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 like it's like just five fucking fat guys in pads. That's it. That's all it fucking is. They can't block for fucking shit. Well, you know, Chief Urag, if you think that's bad, just wait till Sunday when you're going up against a defensive front like Devin Steeles and Christian Covington and JJ Watt and Vince Wilfork. You know, along with the likes of Clowney and Merciless and all that. We can go on and on and on. But anyways, go ahead. You know, I'm glad we're we're getting this conversation out because you know we need we need to have we had to have this talk, Chief Arag, for years, for basically your entire existence. You have been ignoring me, although I have been trying to help you many times throughout the course. As every bad decision, every constant decision you make in life. Who gives a shit? Oh, I give a shit. I'm your conscious. I tried to tell you not to sleep with that goddamn trainee. I told you at the damn strip club when you was in there hocking away all them Jack Daniels and Crown and Coke, you was fucked up. Even got us kicked out of the club. And I had nothing to do with it. And every time you drink, I get fucked up. Remember, I'm inside your head. I will always have. I've always been your best. I'm your only friend. I'm your conscious. I've been trying to tell you to do the right thing for a long time. And it's like that... Incident at the club when you slept with that trainee, but we all know that wasn't your first rodeo, was it? <laughs> Fuck! Like, remember the time when you cheated on your wife at the strip club? You took that girl home and I told you not to sleep with her? Remember the chick with a dick? I told you not to sleep with that damn trainee. That damn trainee had a big ass dick. And I told you about that. But you sat there and ignored me. Fuck! I think you have something on your head. You might want to do that real quick. It's like on this side a little, kind of like over here. Nah, I don't think you got it off. It's like more on the face here. It's like that, uh, I don't know, that trainee gave you something. I think it's like scratch yourself right here and kind of like right there and more more like on the face. It's kind of like over here. You might want to scratch over here a little bit. Nah, Chief Rag, I don't think you got it, but uh, I think you left something there. I don't know. But close enough. Do you got the itchies? Or something? Is it like a cow? Do you need some cow line lotion to scratch that? Uh, 
I mean, you just look like you just got the itchies, and it just makes me itchy just, you know, watching you itch yourself just kind of makes me want to itch myself. Even though, even though I'm in a very small place inside of your head, and I mean a very dark room, every time you itch, it just kind of shakes. It's like a little earthquake, and I get a little, you know, a little massive, uh, little 1.2 on the Richter scale earthquake. So if you could try not to scratch up here a little bit, because I kind of tend, it kind of tends to affect my way of life up there. So if you could scratch a little towards the below the belt area, that would, you know, be very generous, you know. The why did you sleep with that tranny? I'm just wondering. I told you that bitch had a dick. Why the fuck do you sleep with that tranny for? I don't fucking know, man. I really don't know what to make of this. You knew exactly what you were doing. I was in your head. I told you the whole fucking time that bitch had a dick. You still didn't care. You was all drinking in the club, getting all fucked up, and I told you. I said, that bitch got a dick. And you said, I don't give a shit. And you just ignored me. And I tried telling you. I tried telling you. You need to go home to your wife. Your wife is home waiting for you. And you just had to go to that club that night. Had to get all fucked up and fuck with them trainees. I told you about that shit. I told you. I tried to, I fucking tried to tell you about that shit. <laughs> You tell your wife, man. You need to tell your wife about sleeping with that damn trainee I told you about, man. You shouldn't have been sleeping with that goddamn trainee, and I told you about that. So how are you going to deal with this, man? What are you going to do about this, man? Hey, 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 how are you going to be able to get through this, man? We're going to get through this together. We are together. I'm your best fucking friend. How are we going to get through this ordeal, man? I got beer. And I got World of Tanks. So I'll be all right. Oh, man, I don't know if beer and World of Tanks is going to go over sleep with all them damn trainees, you damn trainee chaser. You shouldn't be tracing those goddamn trainees around, you goddamn trainee chaser. But what the fuck? Come on, I was just telling, I'm just trying to have a conversation with you. You need to go and tell your damn wife about them damn trainees you've been chasing. Your wife needs to know she deserves to know about them goddamn trainees you've been chasing at night. Fuck! Just tell your wife you're sleeping with them damn trainees and it'll all be over soon. Just like this Sunday... When you come into Houston to NRG Stadium with a new highly profound offense and offensive weapons you have never seen before, Chief Rag. Just like I'm stuck in your head, the Texans will be stuck in yours for the rest of the season. As we mash on the Kansas City Chiefs this Sunday, 34-20, to 20, and that's just being nice. You better hope and pray your boy Alex Smith doesn't get hurt. I'd hate to see what ends up happening to your season when it goes down the drain. You got a lucky win against San Diego. You ain't going to be so lucky this Sunday. I'm out.